This is Krista Moore, and welcome to the Women for NICI interview series. And we have an opportunity to interview various leaders within the Women for NICI organization and really learn more about their passion for NICI and you know, what, is, what are some of their thoughts on why women in particular should be voting for Nikki Haley. So I wanna introduce you to Morgan Vigna. How are you today, Morgan? Very well, thanks for having me, Krista. Yeah, and I'm, I'm excited to have you here because you have a history of working for Nikki in the past as you were the former chief of staff at the United Nations. And you've also taken a strong leadership role within Women for Nikki. So why don't you give us a little bit of introduction on how you met Nikki and why you're involved in her campaign today? Great question, Krista. And I, I definitely, I've been looking forward to this discussion. I first met Nikki when I was working for the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and I covered uh, international organizations for the committee for, for Chairman Bob Corker. And I also had the opportunity to uh, vet, um, brief, and shepherd many uh, a presidential nominee through the Senate confirmation process. And Nikki uh, was one of my nominees. Um, I had the opportunity to meet her uh, and work with her team um, and, and help her move through the Senate confirmation process. Uh, I knew early on that Nikki was going to be someone special. Uh, what I really appreciated was her candor, her sense of humor, her grit, and, and her grace throughout the entire time. Um, Senate confirmation process um, as you know, both sides of the aisle will tell you is, is, is pretty brutal, but she handled it um, just beautifully. Um, particularly, she uh, she she re was really able to sort of make that transition from the Senate up to uh, the United Nations uh, quite seamlessly. And it was just r really a joy to get to know her through that process. That that experience in getting to know her, you got to see maybe her style, of how she leads others or how she communicates her vision. And I'd like to just maybe touch upon her leadership style for a moment. How would you describe that? Or what are some things that you experienced about her leadership? Well, as I mentioned, um, I got a bit of a taste for that during the confirmation process. She is the perfect combination of grit and grace, national interests at the United Nations. Um, dealing with China and Russia in particular. She was really able to na navigate uh, those dynamics in a way that bolstered U.S. national security interests, um, but also brought them on board. And we saw this in particular with the sanctions on North Korea. Yeah. And you know, when you use the term grit and grace, I understand that, you know, being from the South. And when I think about grit and grace and a female leadership style, it's almost managing or leading with authority um, and toughness, but yet with like velvet gloves, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's you, you said it so well. One of the things that I think is just, it's such a stark contrast to see her and Donald Trump against one another in, in this primary season. Um, Nikki has a completely different approach to leadership than, than Donald Trump does. Um, she, she speaks softly, but firmly um, to the, and world leaders take her seriously. Donald Trump screams, throws tantrums, changes his opinion, you know, one day to the next, completely inconsistent. And Nikki, what we really need right now is, is, is Nikki Haley to bring that, the maturity that leadership, that stability, that normalcy back to U.S. Right. diplomacy and U.S. leadership. Yeah. Abroad. And one of the things that I had noticed just in, in how Nikki communicates to others is really around using the term we, it's we, even when she's not taking like full credit for it, what she did as a governor or what she might have accomplished as an ambassador, she uses it, the term we, where that to me is a big difference between, let's say, someone like Donald Trump, where it's more I, I, I centric. Have you noticed that? No, I, you probably see me grinning ear to ear here because everything 
we we talk about with team with team Haley is it's a team. We are team mm -hmm. Haley. Every she what I particularly appreciated about going to the US mission to the United Nations with her was that she brought on a strong team from South Carolina that knew her, that knew how to lead, that knew how to staff her, but she brought on subject matter experts, including myself, who, who knew how the UN worked, um, knew where the bodies were buried within the UN budget, and we complemented each other perfectly. Yeah. Bringing together and unifying a team is, I think, for her, one of her greatest talents and being able to, to work with a number of different folks different personalities and backgrounds um, and, and really uh, build success on top of that is, 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 I think, really remarkable. Right. And one of the top leadership qualities of effective leadership is being able to surround yourself with the right people, right? right. Pulling that team together that complements you and that can help you rise to the top, but together as a team. And it's nice to see that that is your kind of perception on how she led a team. A lot of people have talked and I hear that they're afraid that she's not going to take quick action on um, her, you know, her team as soon as she gets into office. I completely think it's going to be the opposite. What are your thoughts on that? Nikki's pretty decisive. She's got a pretty good read on people and I have no doubt that she will build a very dynamic team that works well together um, and is, is professional and will execute her foreign policy and domestic policy decision making. Yeah. Well, as we wrap up this quick interview, I know that you're leading the Women for Nikki Network um, in your region for sure, and also just a part of the steering committee. What are your thoughts on women for Nikki and in terms of getting more women out to vote, to vote for Nikki and, um, and to really be looking hard at whether they should be voting for Trump or not in the primaries? This coalition is unlike any that I've seen before. Mm -hmm. Massive support that Nikki has been able to garner from the, the female population across the country, I think really is demonstrative of the fact that women want to see a real leader. They want change. They want someone new, a fresh face. They don't want someone, they don't want an 80 year old man who is here to lecture them and talk about his uh, his interests and his, you know, personal prowess. They want a leader. They want someone that's going to speak to their interests and speak to um, to how they want to see their children and their families grow up. And so I, I, I truly feel Nikki is that face. She is that leader. The time is now. Yeah. And you know what? That Nikki now is exactly right. I know I come at from it from a, a grandmother's perspective. You're a mom, and I know that the investment that we're making in our time to help with this campaign in the Women for Nikki Coalition is, is that an investment. It's like the best thing I could be investing in for the future of my family and my kids. So I'm sure you feel the same way. Absolutely. I mean, I look at our candidates today, and I think about how I explain them in the future to my, my three-year-old daughter, and we have a real opportunity with Nikki Haley. I... I sigh and I, I think about how I would explain to my daughter that we have that the Republican Party nominated, you know, uh, a man that was convicted of a sexual assault um, as for for president. I mean, the idea of that really is disheartening. Mm -hmm. um, a man that has been convicted and charged with so many crimes. I would like better for our country and I want better for the future for the, for the country that my daughter is going to grow up in. Right. Well, let's get out there and vote for Nikki and we've got to keep pulling from the Women for Nikki network. Um, down at the bottom, you'll see that you can join womenfornikki.com and join our organization and help get Nikki into the White House. Thanks so Thank much, you. Morgan. I appreciate you. you.